Hello everyone, this is Lori from Grammy's Keepsakes and we're going to do some embellishing and get this book finished up. It's So I made a few embellishments and pockets and tags already. So now we just need to put them together. Here is a library pocket with a card. And I'm going to glue this right over the top of that. And I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac. Take that card out so I don't mess it up. Okay. Try to center it. And then we can put our card back in. Okay, let's find some more that we can do. Let's stamp some lines on this page. I have this big, I think it's five and three quarters, yes, by five and three quarters line stamp that I got from 123 Stitch and this works so nice to put lines on our page and I'm using a Memento Dandelion Teardrop and I find that if I use the same family of color I get nice subtle journal lines. And then put it down, press it. It's not perfect, but that's what we want, right? There we go. And then it bleeds through a little bit to the other side, so we have lines on both sides. And have my wet wipes handy so I can wipe off the excess color so we can use a different color next time. Okay. And I've clipped some ideas in place. Here is a flip out that we can use and this side it's going to be a pocket it just needs to be glued on and what I did was I cut the height of my page which in this case it happens to be um, seven and seven eighths by six and then I scored it two inches and I folded so I'm going to have a side pocket on this side and a flip out on the other. And so I just place my page in that crease. Then I'm going to use my art glitter glue and put a small little fine, well, I guess it's a little plugged up. Get that working. There we go. A bead of glue and a bead of glue and one down this side of that fold line. Getting a little crooked there. And then I'm going to place it over and put it down. 
And here I have a little um, booklet that I made out of an envelope. And I've folded the envelope in half and I stitched some paper into it. There's four sheets, plus I glued some line paper on the inside of the covers. I cut off the top of it and I made tags to go in the pockets. And then I colored the seam binding with um, distress ink. When Here's a, a Jerry and Alice reader book page so that can fit right in. And then here we have our flip out. I'm going to go ahead and take this out so it's not so bulky. And now we can get some lines on this page. So I'm going to use some angel pink. And and place that down. I hope I'm in frame. I do apologize if I'm not. There, we have some lines. We can wipe our pink off here. Here I've got all these glue bottles with no tops put back on. I'm asking for trouble. Because we've got more gluing to do. So for the green, let's use New Sprout. Press it down. And just wipe it off. Usually when I do my stamping, I just go ahead and through the whole book with the same color. Then I come back and I get a different color. But this um, page that I have here from a children's atlas I've gessoed on both sides so that it can be written on, but I have another one of our flaps. I thought the numbers were fitting for this counting book, so I'm going to fold that there. We don't want any rookie mistakes there, do we, with that glue? So I'm going to flip it over, and we're going to apply a bead of glue on the top and the bottom and along this side. And just press it. And then we're, we'll have another tuck spot. Here I've got a division flash card from Milton Bradley from the 60s. That fits in there nicely, doesn't it? And here we have blue. I have Kool-Aid dyed my pages. And they have some nice and pretty colors. Here I've got Summer Sky for my blue. And we'll flip that over and stamp it on there. And it comes through to the other side. So we've got the line shadows. 
I wonder how it would work on the gesso. Let's give it a try. There are no mistakes in junk journaling, right? Just new creativity. The children's atlas pages were so glossy that I put a, two layers of the gesso. I used a white gesso. Oh, the blue lines look nice on there. There, that is good. Wiping off my stamp again. Okay, let's flip that closed. Here we have purple. And I've got, um, the this one's a chalk ink in Spring Pansy. I I haven't tried this on my lines yet, but oh, look how dark that is. That chalk ink is very juicy. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? Let's give it a try and see what happens. Turned out pretty good. Yeah, let's wiping off that stamp pad for sure. That is some juicy ink. That's boring, right? Why watching me wipe off an ink pad or a stamp pad? There we go. Oh, and it came through a little bit on the other side. That's good. Oh, here I've got my fabric pocket all ready to go. It's a cotton calico, and I zigzag stitched it onto the back of some regular copy paper. And so I'm just, I hold my finger at the top of my pocket so I know where not to put the glue. And then we can just apply the glue on three sides. And this is a children's um, fairy tale and rhyme book. I've got a few pages of those in my little golden books. Here I've punched out some butterflies and glued them to the center strings. So we have a pop of color. Okay, here I've got a subtraction flash card that's ready to go. And it'll cover up that um, nursery rhyme. My bed is a boat by Robert Louis Stevenson. Then we're gonna have a side pocket there. So we're gonna glue three sides again. Yeah, making sure that I'm on my edge. Press it down. And here I have a 
an envelope that I made. The base of it is an old map page, and then I put some more of the numbers and then just some random scallop circles. And then I made a little tuck here for the bottom to hold the envelope closed. Here's another purple page, and I'll stamp that later, too, and a blue one. Okay, here's one of my little trifold journal cards that I made. There's a video on that, and instead of lines, I just put um, blank paper. And the charm to hold it closed. And we're just going to glue that oh, on this side here. And I'm going to glue just three sides so that way we can tuck something in underneath it, too, if we'd like to. And this book page is gessoed also. There. It's going to be a lot of room for journaling in this book, isn't there? Here I have another little pocket ready to go from the Jerry and Alice reading book. And they can count the little duck heads. I'm going to glue the three sides of the book. And pop that right down here on the bottom. So this is going to be able to hold some nice tags, too. I had to borrow it from the little thing to show you. i to make sure I return it so I know where they came from. Okay, and then in the second, I keep forgetting to put the pin back in that glue bottle. Here we have another flip. Fold it over. We're going to get it ready and go ahead and glue it on this side. Just a fine bead of glue. Place it on the edge carefully. Press it down. There. And now we have our flip. Here I've got another one for the money, two for the show, three to make ready, and four to go. I did another little, um, the rhyme with the pocket with some copy paper on the back. So we'll glue the three sides again.
and I have another little booklet that I made with another picture with um, from a children's book and some music paper and inside I have some more paper that I stitched in and there's three sheets of paper in this folder and that'll fit in there nice won't it I'm going to pull it out though so it doesn't get in our way and here I have another tag that I made that's got a pocket on the and another pocket. And these journaling cards inside fold out. So there's lots of space. Here's a taller one. And so we can just glue that right on here too. We'll glue this one down solid. So there's journaling space here in the margin, plus in the tag, and you can gesso on this if you'd like. Here's another gessoed page. And here I made, I used two legal size envelopes and I just made a waterfall basically out of them. And I cut the edge open. I used a circle. And so you have a thumb notch and I made a card with a little tab. So there's a journaling card or tag in each one of them. And then you can journal on the back of these envelopes as well. And we're going to glue this one down though. And then I just, when I folded them, I just stitched them shut. It's a cute little one, isn't it? Hard to see through the bifocals, let me tell you. Took my contacts out. It was a long day at work today, so I've got my glasses and, and I can't see. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and glue that down. I think I'm going to use a little bit of the fabric tech too because it's going to be I haven't did not gesso this side so it's a little on the glossy side and I just the fabric tech is such a good glue with good adherence. Well, so is the art glitter glue, but we're going to err on the side of caution on this one, aren't we? And let's see. Let's we need some room to get the tags out. It was a new bottle of Fabri-Tac. Boy, the acetone in it is strong. I have smell-o-vision in the video, right? There we go. Here I've got another counting flip. So we're going to glue the three edges on this pocket. I'm putting an awful lot of tuck spots in this book, aren't I?
And here I already glued in a um, piece of paper so I have a tuck on both sides for a side pocket. This page needed a little bit of repair work and so this pocket helped wonderfully with that. And then here I made a envelope out of an old dictionary um, for children and I have it um, stitched with um, tea dyed paper and I left it open so there's more journaling and we can just clip that right on the edge I've got some more Kool-Aid paper to stamp for the lines. And here I made sort of a library pocket and I used a scallop square punch to punch out a square. And then I used score tape and cut out a piece of um, acetate and adhered that to the inside of the window. And then a little tiny thumb notch there so that you can see the tag. And I just stamped on some book page here so you can see the tag, the message. So we're just going to go ahead and glue that on. And that'll be the back of the book. There, that looks nice. You can put a picture in there too if you'd like to. But now I'm going to go back through the book and I'm just going to finish stamping my pages. And then I have a few um, little flip up tuck spots that I can glue in here and there also. And to do that, what I have the, the square and the fold, so I want to glue on two sides. And get it nested down in that corner. Flip up the page to make sure that I'm good. There, have a little tuck spot. And room for journaling. And then you can journal on here too because it's gessoed. There we go. Thank you for watching.